This is Pager. He's a nine-year-old macaque who had a Neuralink placed in each side of his brain about six weeks ago. If you look carefully, you can see that the fur on his head hasn't quite fully grown back yet. He's learned to interact with a computer through a tasty banana smoothie delivered from Australia. He's focused, and he's playing entirely of his own volition. It's not magic. The reason Neuralink works is because it's recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain. First, we calibrate the decoder by recording neural activity as Pager uses the joystick to move a cursor to targets presented on the screen. As he's playing this game, we're wirelessly streaming, in real time, the firing rates from thousands of neurons to a computer. Using these data, we calibrate the decoder by mathematically modeling the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the different joystick movements they produce. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. Pages still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. It's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Our goal is to enable a person with paralysis to use a computer or phone with their brain activity alone. Because they wouldn't be able to move a joystick, they would calibrate the decoder by imagining hand movements to targets. Great game, Pager. And what better reward for a monkey than a banana?